guys, breathtaking is an understatement. Oh, child. Hi guys, it's the Island Girl and I'm back with another reaction video for you today and today we are reacting to 10 reasons why the UK is the best country in the world and we're going to get right into this one because you all know I'm moving, don't it? Yes. So if you're new to my channel and it's your first time here, come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face and enjoy this reaction with the Island Girl. Don't forget to go into the comment section, tell me what you'd like me to react to next because it will be done. To all my regulars, my schmeglers, my day ones, my sweetie pies, my sweetie poo, thank you so much for being here with your girl. Don't forget to do what? Right back. Put a smile on your face and enjoy this reaction with your island girl. Alright? Without further ado, let's get into this video. Here we just in case you didn't know, the United Kingdom is a sovereign country. It is a nation within its own government and has a seat at the United Nations. Its full name is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Great Britain is the larger island that contains Scotland, England and Wales. And then the United Kingdom contains Northern Ireland too. Hey guys, Sam here. I'm sorry. I know we just started and I'm pausing already. But I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know it was split up like <laughs> that. I've been doing videos and learning about you guys and I didn't know that. I really didn't know that a while ago. The way it's split up. Wow. Hey, from the Geography Bible, I hope you are having a fantastic week, wherever in the world you may be. In this video, we will give you 10 reasons why we think the UK as a whole is the greatest nation or nations in the world. Now, of course, just like any other country in the world, the nations that make up the UK are not perfect and they have plenty of issues of their own. And Britain has a very turbulent past. Throughout this video, we will try to stay out of politics and keep it quite lighthearted. So let's kick off okay. this video with number 10, the accents and language. Although most of the world thinks that the British people all sound like the Queen or news reporters, this couldn't be any further from the truth. Yes, there are many people who speak the Queen's English, also known as received pronunciation. However, with so much history and different regions across the UK, you will find many different accents and dialect. From Scouse in Liverpool to Geordie in Newcastle to Glaswegian in Glasgow, every accent sounds completely different from one another. You can literally drive 30 to 60 minutes away from where you live and you will find someone with a completely different accent to your own. The UK is also extremely multicultural, so you will find many different international accents across the country too. Number 9, it's... Tell me about it. Now that I know, the accents are all over the place and I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, listen, some I can hardly understand. I have to peer my ears and listen keenly to hear what they're saying. But I just love it. I love it. Breathtaking scenery. The UK is home to some of the most beautiful scenery in Europe, if not the world, especially in Scotland. The first thing people think of when they think of the UK is probably London, a huge urban concrete jungle. However, if you adventure outside of the capital, you'll find some absolutely stunning countryside. The UK also has incredible beaches too, from the tropical setting in St Ives in the Scilly Islands to the pristine white sand you will find in the northwest of Scotland. The Isles off the Scottish Highlands, such as the Isle of Skye, offer some of the most breathtaking views you will ever see. Number eight, it has different. It just said, take me away! Put me on these islands, please! <laughs> Guys, breathtaking is an understatement. Oh, child, beautiful. Beautiful! My skin is catching a fire over here. <laughs> Man, it's beautiful. Golly! Somebody's walking. Did you see her, guys? Wobbling? <laughs> it's so 
so beautiful. I can't. Wow. Number eight. eight. It has different countries. The UK comprises of four different nations, each with their own culture, history, and dialects. And although they claim to hate each other, I think this is generally a myth which is exaggerated on social media. Oh. I've met so many incredible and friendly people from Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland who are very similar to me but with just a different accent. Each country is rather similar, they usually have one or two large main cities, then plenty of smaller charming towns and villages with beautiful countryside in between. Number 7. It has London. And listen to me well. Oh, it's beautiful. And they always hear, I, I, I did hear that they don't really get along. But like he said, it's exaggerated. But it's, it's man, it's beautiful. I, I, every country, they always have that big hub and then they have the small little in between. And it's so beautiful. I like the idea of just being in the the neighborhood not in the big city i need to get that homey feeling that real feeling that genuine feeling when you visit often regarded as being one of the greatest cities in the world. Love it or hate it, you have to admit, London is one of the most important and influential cities yeah, of London. all time. People from all corners of the planet come to the UK to visit, to live or to study in London. Yes, it is busy and it's expensive, but it offers some of the most desirable jobs in the world and there is so much wow. to do. You'll also find some of the world's most followed sports stadiums in London too. Number six, safety, Climate. Listen, I get it, I get it. London. Everybody talk about London. London, 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 London. That's a tourism hub. Like I said, I want to go into the little cities. I want to go to the little, to the, to the, to, to where the excitement is, to the, where the locals are to enjoy. I don't want to go where all tourists is, but I'm not gonna lie. It's rich. <laughs> really? You can see it's rich in culture and it's beautiful. You can't take that from London. Wow. Number six. We're going to go right into safety, climate, and wildlife. I know a little. I move it. <laughs> And the wildlife. The figures from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, which ranks each member on many criteria, including safety, place the UK 11th out of 38 nations for safety. Just behind Canada, but ahead of Ireland and way ahead of the US, who are in 22nd place. They have the data to back this up too. In 2016, the UK recorded a lower homicide rate than Japan. Perhaps it's no wonder that 77% of Brits feel safe walking home at night alone. Although we love to mourn about the weather in the UK, we are very lucky that we don't experience extreme weather or natural disasters, such as droughts, tsunamis, volcanoes or bushfires. There are very occasional mini tornadoes and very small earthquakes, but they are barely powerful enough to knock over a garden gnome. The UK is also home to next to no deadly animals such as bears, snakes or spiders. So if you are on an adventure in the countryside, this is another thing Thing you don't have to worry about. Number five. Are you serious? My child has been begging me to move to somewhere where there's no really natural disaster taking place. Jude, we're going to we're going to the UK. We're going to live in the UK. <laughs> you don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry United Kingdom. We don't have to worry about any farmer stuff that you keep worrying about. We are moving. Not to mention no deadly animal. Baby. <laughs> I'm getting over myself guys I'm getting over myself it's beautiful everything and safety look where you rank come on come on Come on, number five here. The NHS or the National Health National Service. Service. The NHS leads the world in terms of equity, of access, and ensuring people don't suffer financial hardship when they are ill. It also performs well in managing long term conditions like diabetes and kidney disease, and is relatively efficient compared to other health systems around the world. The NHS usually ranks in the top 10 or 15 in the world for the best healthcare systems. Not too shabby. Number four, the high. Serious? Seriously? That is amazing! 
the health don't get me started about the healthcare system here don't even get me that is amazing that is wow you got to be kidding me this i'm moving <laughs> i am moving this is just hearing this stuff i can understand why you guys yeah so For the higher education system, the World Universities listing estimates there are over 26,000 universities worldwide. Now, out of all of those, you could probably count on one hand the number that are global household names, and two of them happen to be in Britain. Yep, yep Oxford, Oxford and Cambridge. Mm -hmm. They are still the creme of the crop as far as higher education is concerned. And you've also got Durham too. And the reason for their renown isn't just historical. Across the whole of Britain, the higher education system consistently delivers some of the best results on the planet. Students travel from all corners of the planet to study in the UK. In doing so, they will also get to experience UK nightlife and the quality of life and safety that comes with it. Number three. Can you imagine? Universities of the top. These are the creme de la creme, the creme de la creme of university that I know. I've always heard about it that I love. And I love the way he put it. They get to experience the nightlife, the culture, and everything. Just so diverse, so beautiful, and you guys are pushing out the best. So, what more can be? What What more do you want? Let's see what number three is. Number three, castles and ruins. <laughs> the UK is old as hell. Therefore, it has many ancient ruins, <gasps> castles, and structures to be discovered far and wide. In England alone, there are said to be around 4,000 castles. So if you're from a relatively new country like Australia, New Zealand or Canada or even America, then you may have never seen a castle or ancient building before. So coming to the UK provides an authentic historical viewing. Number two. The castles. Oh, they take my breath away. I've only seen them on TV or on YouTube or on street. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot, but from what I have seen, it's beautiful it is so beautiful listen i don't know how people ever get tired of that i wouldn't get tired of that there's so much to see there's so much to enjoy let me stop yapping. Discovering countries and the Commonwealth. Britain created countries such as Australia, Singapore and the USA, in which in the short space of around 300 years have become world leaders in so many aspects. Wow. No other country can claim to have created anything close to what Britain has achieved. In doing so, its legacy has continued to evolve. Much of what was once the British Empire continues to be part of the Commonwealth, an alliance of 54 nations across the world with a combined population of over two billion long after the empire has ceased to exist number one you know i didn't know that that's something i just learned i didn't know australia and the u.s i didn't know this is that my bad was so what an empire still exists it's listen this is crazy. It's crazy amazing. This is amazing. It's beautiful. Come here, Bambi. It's everything. Say hi, everybody. I'm walking around this place and doing my thing. Hi. And there's another one. Let's go on to number one inventions the uk invented most of the technology that the modern world runs on the tv the computer and the world wide web and while marconi was italian he developed his wireless radio transmission in the uk the list of british inventions is endless the uk also developed most of the world's most popular sports such as football or soccer rugby cricket tennis and golf the uk is a world leader in the arts particularly literature and theater from Shakespeare to Andrew Lloyd Webber, from Chaucer to J.K. Rowling. We've also had a big impact on music, TV, movies and video games, such as Harry Potter and James Bond. So there we have it. 10 reasons why we think the UK is one of, if not the best country in the world or countries. Of course, as we mentioned before, it's not perfect. It does have many issues, but as a whole, it is a very safe and friendly country where people from all across the world decide to emigrate to. So what is your thoughts on the UK? Do you live here? Perhaps you've never been before and you'd love to visit. Let us know in the comment section below what you think. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a like. 
guys number one had to be number one number one is definitely number one your sports the your inventions you're a top above the rest a top above the a, a cut above the rest and whichever a draka a jack of, <laughs> a jack of all chain and a top above the rest your inventions are not pian pian your guys are just amazing with the way you invent stuff your arts your 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 your, your music <sighs> and the list goes on I am telling you, you are indeed a cut above everybody. You are the best. You are. Let's put it this way. You royalties. <laughs> you are indeed royalties. Listen, I love everything that I've seen so far. And not to mention the hospitality. The, 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 the whole experience, I don't even know what to say. There's so much to say. There's so, every, not, and what he said at the end, every country have their problem, their set of problem. But for yours, it's minimal compared to majority of this world. And guess what? I'm coming, baby. <laughs> We're coming, hey. Mm, we're coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Don't forget to go into the comment section. Tell me what you'd like me to react to uh, next. Yeah, you want to go down? Okay, okay. And it will be done. It's your island girl. And I'm skedaddling out of here. I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Yay!